Have you ever wondered, in an era where every click, every like, every share leaves a digital footprint, is privacy truly attainable? Or is it a myth, lost in the binary codes of our digital age? Welcome to the intricate web of privacy in the digital age. Let us delve into the world of technology, a world that promises convenience at the cost of privacy. Consider the case of Alexa, Amazon's voice-activated assistant. How often have you wondered if Alexa is listening even when you're not directly interacting with it? In 2019, Amazon admitted that they store transcriptions and voice recordings indefinitely. This raised serious concerns about user privacy and the potential misuse of this data. On the other side of the coin, look at the case of the Apple iPhone. In 2016, the FBI asked Apple to unlock an iPhone belonging to one of the San Bernardino shooters. Apple refused, citing user privacy concerns. This incident sparked a heated debate about the balance between national security and individual privacy. But technology isn't always the villain in the privacy narrative. Consider blockchain, the technology that powers cryptocurrencies. Blockchain provides a decentralized and encrypted ledger that promises enhanced security and privacy. It has potential applications in secure voting systems, private messaging apps and more. It's an example of how technology can bolster rather than erode privacy. Yet amidst these advancements the harsh reality remains. Complete digital privacy is a utopian concept. In the age of artificial intelligence, machine learning and big data, every online interaction leaves a trail. This data, often anonymized and aggregated, forms the backbone of the digital economy. Take the case of Cambridge Analytica, a political consulting firm that used data from millions of Facebook profiles without consent to influence the 2016 US presidential election. This incident highlighted the extent to which our personal data could be weaponized against us. Or consider the infamous 2017 Equifax data breach, where the personal information of approximately 147 million people was exposed. This breach demonstrated the vulnerability of our personal data, even when entrusted to reputed organizations. So what does the future hold? Will the next technological revolution offer us a chance to reclaim our privacy? Or will it further erode the thin veil that separates our personal lives from the public domain? The answer, dear listener, lies in our hands. It's time to take control of our digital footprints, to question the data we share, the apps we use, and the permissions we grant. It's time to educate ourselves about the technologies we use and the ways they can impact our privacy. Remember, in the digital age, knowledge is power. So arm yourself with knowledge and take a stand for your privacy. Because if you won't protect your privacy, who will?